See, ultimately, kids learn from their parents. He actually won the Padma Shri last year. Oh, nice. That we don't want to hear is, we are immortal. But once cancer affects, they don't care about anything. Then he was using the hair dye. And subsequently, uh, uh, before four to five years, I came to know that he developed one kind of blood cancer. What are the foods are uh, directly fuel the growth of cancer? And uh, very sorry to say that I have lost him. Hello everyone, I am Santosh Kumar, founder of Medical Information Clear YouTube channel. Last few videos, we used to see that a uh, lot of health topics. And today we have a selected topics, how foods we take every day cause cancers. Is there any possibility that this foods can be true or not? We invited Dr. Praveen Ravishankaran from GKNM Hospital. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. Thanks a lot for inviting me, Mr. Santosh. Very happy to be here. Thank you, sir. We are proud to have you. Thank you. Dr. Praveen, sir, I would like to know more about you. Please go ahead and give an intro who you are and what you do. Hi, sir. sir I am Dr. Praveen Ravishankaran and I am a cancer surgeon. At present, I am working in GKNM Hospital and I specialize in laparoscopic and robotic surgery. In fact, I am in charge for robotic surgery here. And at GKNM Hospital, uh, so far, we started the robotic program around seven months back and we have performed almost close to around 75 to 80 cases, which is approximately the maximum uh, in and around Coimbatore. Before uh, uh, inviting you here, I see that uh, you have dedicated your life for the cancer. Yeah. You also taking care of the GKNM hospitals, this robotic uh, department. You said you taking care of the Davinci system. Tell about us about GKNM and this Davinci system. Yeah, so before I came to GKNM, the initial part, I actually finished my studies, super speciality around 10 years back. And after that, for a significant period of time, around four years, I was there in Assam. Mm. Assam, there is uh, there is a city called Silchar. Okay. And there is a cancer hospital called Kachar Cancer Hospital. Kachar Cancer. Kachar Cancer Hospital, which is run by Dr. Ravi Kanan. He actually won the Padma Shri last year. Oh, nice. So they do phenomenal service there. So there, if you see the monthly income for any person, there is only two thousand to two thousand five hundred rupees. So there, suppose you get cancer basically you die mm. because what the family will do is they'll bring the patient and leave them there oh. and that's it that's how much money they'll have they'll just have fare for transporting the patient mm. and then the hospital used to do everything in their power to bring them up mm. so i was very impressed with them so i stayed there for around four years and i learned from them mm. the ethics of uh, cancer care the humanity involved mm. what i find in gknm is we have the same spirit of treating patients, of how we can help them. Mm. So if I wanted to join a hospital in Coimbatore, it had to be GKNM and I'm very thankful for being uh, offered a job here and for working here for the patient's benefit. Tell us, what is the one hard truth about cancer patient don't want to hear? It's not only patients, it's all of us. One hard truth that we don't want to hear is we are immortal. <laughs> Nothing will affect us. But that's not the truth. Mm. If you take us, we go about our day-to-day -day lives as if nothing is going to affect us. We focus on your uh, careers. Mm. We focus on earning money. I'm not telling it's wrong. But for most of us, that seems to be the only uh, aim in life. Mm. And our health, our food habits, our family, everything takes a backseat. Mm. It becomes important when some grave event like cancer affects us. It can affect anyone. Mm. And when health is gone, there is a saying that everything is gone. I have seen it with my own eyes. Mm. People that one day they may be uh, industrialist. They may be having thousands of people under them. But once cancer affects, they don't care about anything. They care just about getting well, getting back what they have done so far in life and about their family members. The one hard truth that everyone should understand is any disease for that matter, not only cancer, can affect you at any time. Mm. So you need to be cautious, you need to, be, you need to take precautions, you need to spend time with your family, which is very important, and spend time with yourself, that people don't do it. When I researched about you on GKNM website, yeah. I see your white hair. <laughs> and what is your age now? <laughs> this is a very tricky question. <laughs> yeah, so my age is 42 years. Okay. So this white hair, I actually got it from my mom. Okay. In fact, I want to say is one of my close family friends. Mm. 
he also happens to be a gastro surgeon he was working in oman muscat mm-hmm. he was he also had white hair very close friend i don't want to tell his name uh then he was using the hair dye mm-hmm. and subsequently uh, uh, before 4 to 5 years i came to know that he developed one kind of blood cancer uh-huh. lymphoma he was a vegetarian mm-hmm. he used to take care of his health mm-hmm. he used to exercise regularly mm-hmm. among the habits the only thing that he used to do regularly what i found was apply hair dye every two weeks apply hair dye every, every two, two weeks. weeks which i was doing <laughs> <laughs> then after that i researched about it then what i found is chemicals in hair dye can result in lymphoma mm. which is a kind of blood cancer uh, then hair dye can also result in bladder tumors uh uh-huh. so these two tumors are very difficult to deal with mm. and uh, he was undergoing treatment for lymphoma and uh, very sorry to say that i have lost him sorry 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 to sorry to treatment then this occurred 3 uh, to 4 years back he was a very promising gastro surgeon so after that i felt that i should not be tampering with my body basically by doing all that see god has given you this white hair and this body for which you have to be proud of and you have to work with what you have not just patch up and move along that's a yes. wrong way of doing it if we want to start this conversation brutally honest hmm. what are the foods are uh, directly fuel the growth of cancer so as soon as you go uh, into a supermarket mm. and as soon as you check all the aisles whatever i feel is mm. whichever you think is good for your taste buds is cancer causing so what i would like to do is i would like to divide the supermarket into three sections one section has vegetables and fruits uh, that itself may cause cancer that is an alter uh, different topic mm. then the next section is what we use for our day to day cooking mm. like rice wheat mm. dal all those things which are essential oils and all that the third comes packaged foods okay. packaged foods where uh, it is very nice to see very good advertising and all that all packaged food processed food and everything whatever you see whatever appeals to your senses is actually bad and they cause cancer and that is what we go first as soon as we go to a supermarket we go to that section initially we satisfy our senses and then we go to other sections which is wrong so you're telling don't eat snacks don't eat snacks regularly that's what we've been trained to do uh, from when we are small mm. so from when we are small what uh, our parents used to do as soon as we come back from school they used to give us noodles instant noodles yes. instant noodles is ultra processed food which is cancer causing causes lot of inflammation in the body then they give us lot of milk milk is good and apart from that along with that they give biscuits mm-hmm. biscuits is also processed food maida with lot of sugar lot of sugar causes insulin spikes promotes cancer growth so we have been trained to have some snacks or the other from beginning but we've not been told to think whether the snack is good for us or not there are good snacks also for example nuts uh berries all those things can be taken as good snacks those are good for your health so you are telling this advice tell about what's happening in your home how your wife and family since you are a cancer surgeon and you know the all the foods that causing cancers and what is your habits so here actually i'm fortunate to have a wife who's also an anesthetist uh, so she works along with gknm she's also an anesthetist and uh, uh, she happens to be a jain So one thing I would like about the Jain thing is their food system is very good. Yes. So there, what they do is they eat very early, mm. and even dinner they eat before the sunset. Yes. So that is a very good habit that we do, mm. and all the foods we are uh, vegetarians mm. per se, so we don't take meat, mm. and the food that we eat are all whole foods. Mm. We have a lot of seeds in our diet, mm. uh, then a lot of nuts, and we regularly intake uh, fruits and. Uh, and a whole lot of vegetables and uh, that's what we try to incorporate in our so h- how many kids here i have one son okay how how you manage snacks for him snacks for him is difficult like how you say it is difficult but then we tell him what is good or bad see ultimately kids learn from their parents mm. if we go ahead and we keep eating everything badam alwa this that they will like it mm. but at the same time you make sure that you take one bowl of nuts a day mm. which is very good and uh, and they also follow the same thing whatever you do my son has never eaten any biscuits he snacks very less on chocolates 
which is a definite no in our house. Wonderful, wonderful. So, Dr. Prabhin, tell us that how much we are in control of not having cancer, or it is genetics that uh, everything is God's hand. Uh, actually, there is a big myth that all the cancer is caused because of our genes. Mm. If you take the data, only around five to ten percent is caused because of genetics. Mm. So, genetics, I mean, only five to ten percent. So that means that your father, forefather had cancer, and because of them, because of their bad genes, you are getting the cancer. But actually, the thing is, that is only five to ten percent. If you take ninety to ninety-five percent, you will be the first person in the family to have that kind of cancer. So that cancer is uh, not uh, genetic; it's called sporadic cancer. So you are the first person to have that cancer, mm. and since you are the first person to have that cancer during your lifetime, there should have been some changes in your genes mm. that has resulted in the cancer. Mm. So ninety to ninety-five percent uh, of cancers are not because of uh, genetics. Let's say you said some processed food, some packaged foods are uh, causing the. Cancer. Even you state noodles are yeah. also instant foods. Mm -hmm. yes. Once we start consume those foods, what happen inside our body? Uh, so if you take all these packaged foods and all that, what taken once in a while, once in a while is okay because your body is actually it is actually a God given apparatus which can uh, repair itself, mm -hmm. but only to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. So you can take it to satisfy your taste buds, but Suppose even if you take it once, there is some amount of inflammation that is produced in the body. Mm. Inflammation, what I mean is, see, anything that you take which is not good to your body is an insult to your body, and your body acts so that it can uh, repair the insult. So that is called inflammation. So foods, packaged foods, everything causes a lot of inflammation in your body, apart from a host of other things. So. Uh, uh, this foods, processed foods or other foods that you take, chocolates or anything that you keep on taking, there is more of inflammation, repeated inflammation that is called chronic inflammation. This chronic inflammation beyond a breaking point, your body will not be able to deal with it. So that is when mutations occur, cancer occurs. Can you deeply explain what is that mutation? So if you take uh, like processed foods, processed foods for example processed meat and uh, uh, red meat all those uh, examples when we take in in our gut uh, certain aromatic hydrocarbons all those are produced those causes uh, DNA breaks DNA damages which can result in cancer apart from that other foods most commonly what we take is even if you take uh, uh, for, uh, for example marathon runners I run marathons myself and I see a lot of uh, uh, like runners having uh, drinks, sugary drinks, mm -hmm. energy drinks, which says that they give instant energy. Here I have a question that uh, how this usually I have read in one uh, article that uh, if you eat sugars yeah. that will uh, fuel the growth of uh, cancer cells. Yeah. Why is it so? Beef basically causes colon cancer. They have tons of sugars, tons of preservatives, nothing else. You are saying someone is advertising it is healthy, it is not healthy. Yeah. So from my side, I've started an organization called Beacon of Hope Cancer. So is it a marketing strategy or people should follow this organic uh, fruits, vegetables?